All right, welcome to Gentoo Linux. I had a lot of requests from people asking me to do a review on this. Unfortunately, I do not have the time to actually build a Gentoo live system. So in today's episode, I'm going to uh, cover uh, some of the things that you can get with a Gentoo distribution through looking at the live DVD that is available on the Gentoo website. And I'm also going to, to describe some of the things that make these source space distributions different. And we're going to do that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Gentoo Linux is a versatile and fast, completely free Linux distribution geared towards developers and network professionals. Unlike other distros, Gentoo has an advanced package management system called Portage. And Portage is a true system in the tradition of BST ports, but is Python based and sports a number of advanced features including dependencies, fine grain package management, fake open BSD style install, safe on merging system profiles, virtual packages, config file management, and more. Now something you need to be aware of is that this is a source based distribution. This means that you will download some sources and you will be building this distribution on your system yourself, much like Arch or Slackware. Now what I have here on my screen is I have the uh, live DVD version so that you can get an idea and you can go on Gentoo's website and download a live DVD. Unfortunately, you can't install it. This just gives you the opportunity to see what kind of packages that you can install. And this particular one has KDE installed on top of it and there are a ton of applications. This uh, DVD was uh, 3.2 gigs in file size so it has a lot of software pre-installed on this and it does give you some options for installing things like flash and that sort of thing. So if you actually put this on a flash drive with persistence, you could actually use this as an operating system. Would I recommend using it this way? Probably not because you're really missing out on the key advantages and that is having a system that is built from source and when you build a system from source it is being built specifically for your hardware and your computer therefore giving you the fastest possible user experience in Linux. Now the reason I'm looking at this in live DVD mode is because Gentoo takes a long time to install. As a matter of fact I have been speaking with friends on Mumble and I've been told uh, that depending on the free time that you have available it can take anywhere from a few days to a week and this is from input that I have received from other people and I know I don't have that time to actually build this in a virtual machine or actual hardware or otherwise but I did have enough requests from people asking to have a look at this so I figured I'd give you that brief explanation and then we can go on to uh, having a look at the live DVD here and see what kind of applications and that sort of thing you can get with this okay You'll notice that the wallpapers have been changing as I've been speaking. I thought that was a nice little touch uh, that they included on this. Now, this live disk comes with KDE pre-installed on it, but you can choose other desktops if you wish when you are building your system. Um, personally, I, I, I like KDE. Um, on my art system, I'm using some components of it, but I'm not actually using the entire KDE suites. Just what I want out of it. Okay, and um, 
some people will argue that it is a little bit bloated, but when you're using a source-based distribution, uh, a uh, desktop like this doesn't feel quite as bloated anymore because you don't have those extra resources and those extra things that are that you would commonly find in a regular everyday distribution like Ubuntu Mint and that sort of thing. Um, you you know, so you'd have a faster user experience. Okay, I decided to select the a classic menu style. Uh, I really don't care for the layout of the um, of their uh, launcher style that they have. Okay, and you will see here as I'm going through here, there are tons of development tools that this comes with. I hope you're watching in high def. You can pause the video and see what kind of options are available to you by reading the list. And then of course we have uh, educational tools in languages, mathematics, there are miscellaneous tools as well, and science tools. So this would be great for anyone who's in college who needs uh, some programming uh, tools and uh, educational tools as well. There are a lot of games that this comes with. And most of these will uh, run in live CD mode, which is uh, of interest. Arcade games, board games, card games, games for kids, logic games, tactics and strategy. And then there are a few toys on here, too. I love the AMOR, the Amazing Misuse of Resources. At one time, I chose the penguin and had uh, Tux walking back and forth and doing little tricks on the screen. <laughs> kind of neat. Okay, you get a ton of graphics tools. You get the Blender, and I'm actually learning that. Expect to see more tutorials coming up on Blender. You get uh, the GIMP as well. I'm also learning the GIMP, and I'm going to actually be showing you how to take some of your images uh, from the GIMP, and you will be able to project them onto models in Blender. So there's some interoperability between the two. I will eventually have a tutorial up on that. Uh, I'm still work, still figuring uh, out how to get that working. But you can see there are a ton of graphics tools that are available to you. And you know the nice thing about having one of these live disks is now you don't have to install all this stuff on your computer to try it out. Just pop in this live DVD play with the tools, write down the list of what you want, and then go into your system and then install those applications. There are tons of internet applications. Pause the video and you can read through the list if you'd like. Um, but there is a little bit of something for everyone. You get Aurora, which is uh, Firefox. It's an unbranded version of Firefox, which is a development version. You also get Conqueror, which uh, is similar to Microsoft Internet Explorer. You get Opera. Uh, you get um, many different IRC clients. You get SeaMonkey. Um, plenty of really good tools in this listing here. And then, of course, in multimedia, <laughs> you get the mother load again. And you may pause the video if you wish to uh, know what all those titles are. Uh, notably, I'd like to point out VLC Media Player is really good. You get um, the uh, K9 copy, which is a uh, video DVD backup solution. I thought that was pretty neat as well. You also get K3B. I don't see it in the list here, but it's somewhere in, in, installed in this package. Also, Audacity is, a, is an amazing sound editor. I use that one myself. I use that for editing all of my audio podcasts that go up on my channel, so definitely well worth your time and looking at. Also, I will be having some uh, some tutorials on Audacity coming up since I am shifting my focus to multimedia in Linux. You can expect to see a lot more on that as well. Okay, and then uh, in Office here, you get the mother load again, mostly LibreOffice, and then of course a bunch of little text editors and that sort of thing included in here. You get a calendar, global time, uh, lots of really good stuff. Uh, oh! Something of interest is uh, Krita, which is a painting and image editing software similar to Inkscape. Um, 
somebody recommended that I try this out and I did download it and have a look at it. It is nice, but um, really not something that I would personally use. But you know what? Um, there, you know, it it is well thought out and well put together, though. Okay, and then of course you have science and math too. It looks like it's just the uh, G GNU Merrick spreadsheet. Okay, and then uh, you have all of your settings located right here. You have the mother load of system tools. Lots of utilities. Lost and found. And then of course you have link to help. And I'm assuming that this is linking to Gentoo's documentation. I'd like to take a quick look at this during this review. Okay, I noticed when I pressed on the Help Center, it just gives you the KDE Help Center here in this case. So, uh, I wanted to go ahead and close this. And pretty much your documentation for Gentoo Linux is on their website. And... Everything that you will need to know about this distribution is located here. It gives you an introduction and it gives you installation related resources. You have the handbook, a quick install guide, and everything that you are going to need to be able to download these sources and build it. Just make sure you've got a lot of free time on your hands. Also, another thing that I would recommend is downloading this live DVD and trying it out first to see if it's compatible with all of your hardware and if it is then of course you would want to uh, follow these instructions on this guide here for installing this system personally since I have tried Arch Linux I just can't see myself uh, trying another source based distribution because Arch has given me everything that I could possibly want out of a Linux distribution. But I have been told that Gentoo and Slackware, other source based distributions, are equally as good as Arch Linux. Each of them has their own strengths and weaknesses, that sort of thing, their own little tiny pros and cons. But all in all, you're going to have a better user experience if you build your Arch system yourself. If you thought this was useful, please comment below. If I was incorrect in any of my statements, please mention that below as well. I want to make sure that I'm not giving out any misinformation here. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I've got some more multimedia videos headed your way, some tutorials, uh, software reviews, and that sort of thing. And we'll see you next time on Spatry's Multimedia. Mm -hmm.